Baroness can be a tricky boss at first with the different mini bosses and mechanics, but it's really not as hard as you might think. I find the loadout to be very important for Baroness to deal with each problem as easily as possible. To start, Roundabout is amazing for this boss. Honestly, you don't even need another weapon other than Roundabout, so feel free to bring whatever weapon you want as your second shot. But to explain Roundabout's use, Roundabout is exceptionally consistent at dealing damage. The EX also shines here because you have this large open space to bounce the EX back and forth and deal as much damage as possible. Other than Mufsky Chernikov, Roundabout is great for every mini-boss and Baroness herself, and you can definitely beat Mufsky with Roundabout if you got some finesse. So again, I find myself not really needing another weapon. I do find myself using Spread as my second weapon, mainly for the last phase just to deal a ton of damage, but using Chaser or whatever weapon you prefer just for Mufsky is fine as well. It's really up to personal taste. I would however strongly recommend using Invincibility here. You'll tear through the last phase with it, and that's really where most of the trouble comes from, that being retaining your S rank. For your charm, of course Heart Ring will always be a great pick for pretty much every boss, and this is no exception. Smoke Bomb could help for dodging Baroness's head or Colonel Von Pop, and Parry Sugar could make the parries a lot easier for you if you struggle with your parry timing. However, I do heavily recommend using Heart Ring if you can, since the other charms are not exactly a necessity, and it's extremely important to retain our HP for the S rank. Also, I'm going to assume you understand how each boss generally works, so I won't be explaining every detail about every boss. But whenever it is relevant, I will explain what is needed. Now it's time to get into the boss fight. So as you may know, Baroness sends out one mini boss at a time for her first three phases, then Baroness herself comes after you for the last phase. The mini bosses you can go against here are Lord Gobpacker, Colonel Von Pop, Musky Chernikov, Sergeant Gumble Gumbul, and Sir Waffington III. That's five possible bosses for the three phases of the fight. Now, the only boss that can actually be somewhat difficult here is Mufsky, like I mentioned earlier. The reason is because he attacks in a very awkward manner and makes it pretty difficult to land your shots consistently, let alone not get hit. To be completely honest, the best thing that can happen to you during your s rank attempts is to hope you don't even get Mufsky, as that makes this way easier for you. I would go as far as checking what your first boss is when you start the fight, and if you get Mufsky, just restart. When you think about it, there is very little reason not to. Now, if you get Musky as your final mini-boss during the third phase, however, then I would simply just deal with it and try your best beating him. Now, coincidentally, I clipped myself S-ranking Baroness four times for this video, and in none of those attempts I got Mufsky. That may be a sign as to how much easier it is to not even deal with Mufsky. Alas, if you're not as lucky as I was, you'll need to know how to beat him as fast as possible. You'll always want to stay a distance away from Mufsky and aim directly at him with your shot when he's low to the ground. You will hit him, shown by him slightly flashing when he's hit, but you can duck to make sure your shots hit. You'll want to take more of your time beating this boss than any of the others, so don't feel too bad about taking your time. Plus, I averaged a time of around 1.15 without fighting Mufsky, so you have plenty of time to defeat him. All the mini bosses from this point are pretty easy. It's more about how you go about fighting them, so here's what I try to do for each boss. Whenever you're in between phase changes, turn away from the castle and shoot roundabout so all those shots land when the boss comes out. So for Gumball Gumball, just focus completely on dodging the gumballs while shooting with roundabout. Do make sure to shoot or jump over the Jelly Bean Knights since they're a bit sneaky. That's pretty much it. For Sir Waffington, try to get as much damage as you can before he makes his attack since while he is attacking, it doesn't seem that shooting him works most of the time. Dodging his attack is quite easy actually. He either first shoots himself from the corners, then the center, or vice versa. The first time he attacks, it's completely random which one he'll do first, but I've noticed that he'll typically do the opposite version of his previous attack if he attacks more than once, which honestly he'll get at max 2 attacks before you take him down. This can be important to know how to initially dodge his attack, although it's really not a hard attack to dodge. Other than that, Put some distance between you and Sir Waffington since his first attack doesn't go too far and Roundabout has great range. Whenever he is moving around however, I would shoot him directly with Roundabout. For Gobpacker, shoot him while he's moving towards you until you have no room to back up from him. Then I tend to jump and dash onto the platform and continue shooting the opposite way so the Roundabout shots reverse and hit him. Then when he gets too close, fall off the platform and dash to the left. Keep on shooting him directly if you can, and at this point he should go down. It's really that easy. 
Colonel Von Pop might be a bit weird to fight for you, but it's a lot simpler of a fight than you might think. Start the fight like you do for all the other bosses, looking away from the castle and using roundabout, and pay attention to how Colonel Von Pop is moving. When he meets the middle of the screen, he'll either continue moving towards you, or he will move upwards. You simply react to which way he moves, jumping and dashing if he doesn't go up, or just continue directly shooting him if he moves upwards. This same situation will repeat while he's above you as well. His small minions won't typically be in the way, but you can always shoot them down. So you just keep on rinsing and repeating this kind of action, and that's literally it. Well, that should be all the mini-bosses down. Now there's Baroness herself. You want to make sure to have your invincibility super when you're fighting Baroness. Between phase changes, you can deal damage to her, and she won't hurt you when you step inside her area of the screen. This is when I'll go in with spread and stuff it in her face as much as I can, jumping up to deal even more damage. Eventually, she'll roll up her castle and start attacking you and moving the ground. Yeah, I said moving the ground itself. MDHR decided to move the ground itself rather than the castle and Baroness themselves. So the castle is just moving in place while the ground ahead of the castle moves towards the castle. With this, once the castle starts moving, you pop your super and continue with exactly what you were doing before. You don't have to worry about staying in place with the castle, so no movement corrections are required. Once your super is about to run out, of course dash away. Try to stick on top of the platform and use roundabout. From this point, you just gotta make sure to keep your HP bonus. Oh yeah, the parries. So apparently you can just parry the menthol that comes from the castle three times, and yeah, it counts towards the parry requirement. Of course, try to parry the pink jelly bean knights if you have a clear opening, but don't feel forced since, well, you can just get all your parries at the end of the fight. Once you're on the last phase, you should still only be around the one minute mark of the fight, so you have plenty of time to stop shooting, get your parries, then continue shooting Baroness until the fight's over. Now, there really isn't a trick for her head attack, so you just gotta take your time, which you already know you have a lot of time, and deal the remaining damage you need to finish the fight. This is why we want to deal as much damage as possible at the beginning of this phase, so we make the rest of the phase super easy. Well, I think that's everything there is to talk about. I hope this video was of some help to you, and if so, I'd appreciate it if you liked, subscribed, and shared this video to help out the channel. Also, check out my other S-Rank guides for help on other troublesome bosses. With all of that, best of luck with your S-Ranks.